New at 11 tonight, citizens and city leaders spoke out about an audit of the Johnson City Police Department. That report released this week found that police mishandled sexual assault cases over the last several years. News Channel 11's Jayana Scurry was at tonight's meeting. She's live now outside City Hall. So Jayana, what did city leaders learn? Sarah, City Manager Kathy Ball made a presentation during the meeting about key takeaways that the city learned from the report, including significant areas that needs improvement. After a year-long audit into the Johnson City Police Department, the Daigle Law Firm found several shortfalls in the handling of sexual assault cases. There was no indication of any corruption, any willful intent, or any illegal activity. Uh, we think that's, that's very important to point out. City Manager Kathy Ball says the JCPD's record system is where the report found the most significant deficiencies. We have a record keeping system on our patrol side, on our criminal investigation division. We need to find one that takes all of the information uh, from the time a victim is initially interviewed and pulls all that information together. Ball says they will partner with the district attorney's office to use their protocols for sexual assault. They're able to call out an assistant district attorney that can help them with anything that may be unusual or not completely spelled out in the protocol. This gives us a more thorough opportunity to be able to collect evidence, to be able to look at a site. One concern brought up during public comment was the internal promotions of police staff after retirements of the former police chief and other positions. I, I'm highly suspect of these officers being able to make this transition that they, that needs to happen, given that they have been steeped in the same culture that resulted in the incidences that produced this report. Other concerns was finding out what the specific training for officers would be and if the investigation found that former officers didn't correctly do their job. As a tax paying citizen, I would cringe and be offended if they are allowed to keep their retirements or any other thing that they earned along the way. Kathy Ball says the city is working on regaining the public's trust through this process. Live in Johnson City, Jayana Scurry, News Channel 11. Back to you, Sarah.